Well, homeowners continue to clean up in Delran after severe flooding affected 50 homes near the Delaware River. One of the questions that many homeowners wanted to know is what can be done to mitigate future flooding. CBS News Philadelphia South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner took that question to town leaders who tell us the federal government is now stepping in to get involved. It's calm along the Delaware River and Rancocas Creek, but its ravaged banks betray that peace. A reminder of what happened here in Delran last week. My car got flooded. You could see all the wetness in here. Carolyn Staden says she's one of the lucky ones. Only an inch of water in her home, one of 50 homes in Delran affected by last week's flooding. It was very shocking. You know, you go to bed and then you wake up at 12 o'clock and the water is so high. And you couldn't do anything because it just came in so fast. But what's been slow to come in, according to Delran Mayor Gary Catrambone, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, to figure out how to mitigate the kind of flooding neighbors here experienced last week. It took us 11 years to get, uh, frankly, to get them engaged. But he says the Army Corps is now focused on Delran. He says the township and the Army Corps are signing contracts for a study that will look at ways to reduce flooding from the Delaware River by stopping the erosion of Delran's banks and protecting its sewer plant. The study will likely take at least a year. This is probably one of their smaller projects, but it's certainly a huge project for us and, and very important for the folks that live in that section of town. Folks like Staden, who came by Delran Middle School this morning to pick up a cleanup kit provided by Burlington County and the Red Cross. Everybody came together and worked as a community, and they still are to try to clean up everything. We reached out to the Army Corps to get more details on the study, but we were told no one was available due to the federal holiday. Burlington County is also urging homeowners who are affected by flooding last week to call 211 so the county can get a good idea of how how many people were affected by flooding? Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.